first year Ohio State quarterback, Quinn Ewers. The nation's number one overall prospect in the class of 2021 entered the transfer portal this past Friday evening. Stay tuned. Whose world is this? The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world? The six foot three, two hundred six pound Ewers was ranked as a top quarterback in the 2022 class by 24/7 Sports, as well as the number one overall prospect across the nation. He was recruited by every major program and was at one point committed to the Texas Longhorns and then coach Tom Herman before decommitting and ultimately flipping to Ohio State. Now, you were reclassified from the 2022 class to the 2021 class shortly before fall camp as Texas high school rules did not permit him to take advantage of the NIL opportunities. Ewers was on Ohio State's roster this fall but only played in one game and did not make the Buckeyes travel roster as he got up to speed and as CJ Stroud ran away with the job. So you should expect a feeding frenzy for Ewers in the transfer portal. Here are five locations that makes the most sense for Ewers to transfer to. And then I throw in a wild card that nobody's talking about, but that would be really smart for Ewers in his college football future. The first one on my list is the Texas Longhorns. The most obvious potential destination is Texas. Ewers was committed to Texas for a large chunk of his recruitment and the Longhorns were his childhood dream school. Ewers did eventually back off that commitment during an up and down 2020 season for Texas. But until the day he decided to leave South Lake Quarrel early for college football, there were whispers Texas could get back into the mix. Texas like a long-term answer at QB. Casey Thomas and Hudson Carr both had their issues this season. And Steve Starkeesian recruited Ewers at both Alabama and Texas. Steve Starkeesian, get Ewers on the phone right now. You have any issues across the board. Bringing a five-star number one overall player in Ewers will help you tremendously. And you'll have that key centerpiece to move forward in a positive way. The next school on my list is Texas A&M Aggies. Texas A&M never factor into Ewers recruitment like Texas. But if Ewers wants to come home and compete for a national title, the Aggies makes a lot of sense. Texas A&M lacks a clear answer at quarterback. Haynes King hasn't played significant steps two years. A week two injury cost him almost all his redshirt freshman campaign. And the other quarterback was up and down this year in his place. Jimbo Fisher has been long considered one of the better developers of quarterback in the country. Ewers could be the program's missing piece for a championship roster. And I believe it. I mean, I like Ewers at Texas more than Texas A&M, but if he goes to A&M, they could potentially be a national powerhouse that's fighting for a national championship. Believe it. Now, the third school on my list, I can't believe I'm saying this, but USC and Lincoln Riley. At one point during his recruitment, Quinn Ewers was considered an Oklahoma Sooners lean per 24-7 sports. That's all because of Lincoln Riley. With Riley taking his QB whisper ways to Los Angeles, you have to think that the Trojans will have an appealing spot for Ewers. Don't forget about the NIL of impact of a place like USC, as Ewers reclassified from the 2022 class to the 2021 for NIL purposes. Riley has to be careful here with a stud like Jackson Dar on his roster, but he can afford to be choosing and let the other chips fall where they may. And I think this will be awesome if Lincoln Riley goes in the direction of a Quinn Ewers. Because everybody's thinking Caleb Williams, you know, Jackson Dart. No, I'm thinking Quinn Ewers. If Quinn Ewers go to USC and like, hey, Lincoln's like, okay, we had a little run with Caleb Williams at Oklahoma, with Spencer Rattler at Oklahoma. I'm not feeling this Jackson Dart kid too much. USC just got blasted last night. I want something new and fresh. I want Quinn Ewers to take this program. And like we said, Quinn left high school early for them NIL deals. Think about California. Them NIL deals would be crazy for them. Hey, USC, they might be the favorite. My next scoring list may come as a surprise for most people. It's the Clemson Tigers. Dabble Sweeney has notoriously been anti-transfer portal. But as the Tigers lose more and more players to the portal, perhaps he'll change his tune. And what better way to change it than bringing in a guy like Quinn Ewers? We want to blame Sweeney for being loyal to DJ Ugalele, but DJ struggle in 2021 mean the Tigers should at least explore improving at that position. A national powerhouse like Clemson makes sense for Ewers. That dynamic between Ewers and 2022 Clemson commit K.A. Klubnick, Ewers high school rival, will be fascinating as well. And that's crazy. If Quinn Ewers comes to Clemson and his high school rivals come to Clemson, they already got a little beef probably for being high school rivals, but now it's like, hey, we fight for the same position on the same team. <laughs> Go figure that. And the score to round out my top five is the Georgia Bulldogs. The Georgia Bulldogs are the number one team in college football despite not having an elite starting quarterback. 
Quinn Ewers would change that. Kirby Smart proved ahead of the 2020 season he wasn't afraid to dip into the transfer portal for a QB, nabbing both Jamie Newman and JT Daniels. And while neither worked out as planned for various reasons, Smart would be um, smart to at least kick the tires on Ewers as he prepares for the 2022 season, potentially without Stetson Benson and perhaps Daniels too. Other QBs on Georgia roster includes Carson Beck and 2021 five-star signee Brock Vandegrift. And those are my top five schools. A bunch of Texas schools because that's where he's from. You got Texas, Texas A&M. And then you got my powerhouses, USC, Georgia, and Clemson. Now, it's time for my wild card. A school that nobody's talking about, but could be very smart for very specific reasons. And that school is another home state school, Texas Tech. It's a bit of a wild card, but Yahoo pointed out the Red Raiders as a possible option, and it makes sense. New head coach Joey McGuire is among the most respected names in the DFW area, and U.S. high school coach knows McGuire well. The Red Raiders lack an OC at the moment, but one name being whispered as a potential option in the coaching industry is Graham Harrell. The air raid in some form is likely coming back to Lubbock. And Ewers, who some consider the best QB prospect since Trevor Lawrence, could be a Patrick Mahomes-like presence for Texas Tech. And I'm all for that. Because if you watch some highlights of Quinn Ewers, he has that zip on the ball, just like Patrick Mahomes. Or former five-star quarterback Quinn Ewers will be leaving Ohio State and entering the transfer portal. Ewers was the number one overall prospect in the class of 2021. He reclassified from the class of 2022 to take advantage of NIL opportunities that were not available to high school players. So, Texas Tech might be in for a five-star quarterback very soon if they hire the right pieces. <coughs> your offensive coordinator. But there you have it. The top five destinations for Quinn Ewers. And then a little wild card to get your mind thinking. Comment below where you think Quinn should go. And comment below, do you think these options are going to be in his final list of schools before committing again? And like I always say, like up the video for your boy. And if you love college football or college football recruiting, subscribe to the channel. It's free. But until next time,